Hello friends, today I'm going to solve it. Good problem number 1443. Minimum time to collect all apples in a tree. So we are given uh, a unidirected tree which has n vertices numbered from 0 to n minus 1. And um, one edge, walking over one edge means it takes one second. Uh, what we need to do is we need to return the minimum time in seconds to collect all the apples in the tree. And we start from vertex 0. So what are we given? We are given the uh, array edges where uh, edge is i represents that uh, there is an edge between these two values these two vertices and we have also uh, has apple edge uh, has apple array where this array the value in this array represents if the tree has an apple or not and what we need to do is um, now we need to find um, the shortest time to collect all the apples so how are we going to do that let's see in this example here so we are given this example with n number of age um, vertices which means we have the vertices numbered from 0 to 6 right because there are 7 vertices here and we have also the edges array so here it implies that 0 and 1 vertex vertices are connected with an edge similarly is the case with 0 and 2 and so on and we also have this array as apple which shows that uh, index 0 index 1 doesn't have any apple because the value is false index 2 has an apple index 3 doesn't have um, 4 vertex 4 has an apple 5 also has an apple and 6 doesn't have an apple now from this given ages let's try to draw our um, tree so since we know 0 is connected to 1, 0 is also connected to 2, right? So starting from 0, we connect 1 and we also connect 2. Now, we also know that 1 is connected to 0, 1 is connected to 4, 1 is connected to 5. Since we already have an edge between 0 and 1, we do not need to uh, make a new edge so what we do is we connect we create an edge between 0 1 4 and 1 5 so 4 we create an edge and 5 we connect them with the, an edge now with in case of 2 we know 2 is also connected with 0 and we already have that connection here so 2 is connected with 3 and 2 is connected with 6 as well so we create a connection between 2 and 3 because it doesn't exist already and we connect a connect create a connection between two and six now which of these have apples so two has an apple and four and five has an apple right so this age two has an apple four has an apple and five has an apple so these have an apple now what are we going to do is um what we need to return is the minimum time right so we are going to store the minimum time in this resulting array i mean this resulting variable so what we do is we start from the top and we know that um we need to we traverse over each of the children so we perform a dfs operator depth for search so we start from the top we move on to its child and then again from one we go to its chil children so the first child is four so we go here and we find that there is an apple in this uh, tree right so what we do is now since there is no it doesn't have any more children so we return back and as uh, as we are traversing over the tree so since we try as we traverse from zero to one we are adding plus one to our result and again we traverse from one to four we add a plus one to our result so so far we have spent one and two times right two seconds and since we know that four has an apple so what we do is we 
add another time to our result that is plus one because it takes to reach four and then back to its parent we are actually taking three seconds right starting from zero one two and then three so that is why we add it to our result now from one again we move on to its next child so we add again plus one to it and then we know that it has an apple so we add another plus one to our result and then finally we go back to this one and in this case also we are adding a plus one why because these two child has these two children have apple right and to re reach here and then again go back here the minimum time we we are actually traversing this path twice once to reach to reach this age so we need to of course add it two times right so once while traversing from zero to one and once while traversing from one to zero so that is what we did here and here now uh, we traverse from zero to two and then um, we know two has a has an apple but uh, right now since two has two also has children so we go to its ch one of the child which is three and once we reach three uh, we are also adding plus one to our result here right again plus one we do a plus one here so what happens now is we reach three and then three doesn't have any more children so what we now check is three three also doesn't have an apple so while returning back we subtract the path minus one subtract minus one from our result because we need to uh, nullify this plus one right since it doesn't have any apple so we are not traversing this age at all we do not want to traverse this age because there's no need to traverse we need the minimum path and the path this path doesn't uh, since this path doesn't take us to any apple so we don't want to travel travel over this path right over this edge so we do a minus one and then we return back to two from two again we go to six we do a plus one here while we go from two to six and again six doesn't have any apple it's the edge and it uh, it's the leaf node and it doesn't have any apple so while returning back again we do a minus one because it doesn't have any uh, uh, apple so we do a minus one and then from two we know the ch its children do not have any apple so we are not traversing its children at all but we too has an apple right so we return a plus one while we return we add a plus one to our results so we are adding plus one from okay so let me just clear this thing okay so st we start from zero and i do a plus one here and then from one i go to four i do a plus one here and four is the leaf node and while returning we know it's a uh, it has an apple so i do a plus one again i come back to one i go to its next child which is five doing a plus one and then five has an apple so i return with a plus one again and then from one i return a plus one because its children has an apple uh, so i return plus one from here as well now from zero to its another child i do a plus one from two to three i do a plus one here but since it doesn't have an apple i do a minus one so basically we are not traversing traveling this path at all and then similar is the case i went from two to six to a plus one and then from six to two do a minus one because this path doesn't have any apple so from two since two has an apple so i do a plus one returning back to zero and then that, that would be my final answer which i will be storing in my result Anyway, now i hope you understand the concept now let's try to code our function so what we need is we need an array where we need to create a tree right now we are only given the ages so let's create a tree that is the children so of length 
10. Each child is also an array. And now four. So I'm going to push uh, the child so what I'm doing here is since 0 is connected to 1 uh, so I am adding all the children I'm creating the children of 0 so I am uh, pushing the value 1 to the to zero and also one is also connected to zero right so that's also the same thing that i'm doing so for each of the case i'm doing the same thing so basically i'll have zero uh, i'll have one and two as children of zero and so on so now that i have these three kind of tree structure created now let me create rdfs function so what do we need is we need the node and we also need to keep track of parent so that we are not going back to the parent because we know we are pushing uh, zero is also connected to one one is also connected to zero so basically one is child of zero um, and zero is also child of one so while traversing from zero to one again from uh, we do not want to go back to from one to zero as its child else we will be stuck in a loop so what are we gonna do is now we need okay we also need a variable to store our result and we will also define a variable to store our boolean value uh, so this variable will store the result if uh, any of its child has any of its children have a um an apple then we must traverse this path right so that is why we need this val value now we are going to traverse each of the child of the node okay and if the child is equals to the parent node then we continue else what we do is uh, we store our value um, we perform the DFS on the child and we are going to store the return value in our boolean operator and if if uh, it's true which means that if uh, there is uh, an apple then what we do we add to our result right and also before uh, before also traversing to each of our child we need to uh, add it to our result because from for zero one and two are its children right so from zero what do we do we go to one and then while we are going to one we add a plus one and then from one we do a DF dfs call to one and then what do we do is we go to four and then now four has a an apple so if uh has apple node is true then return true else we are going to return the value so the value will be calls to value or the result from here else minus so from four we, re we return back so since um the node has a an apple so it will return a true and then hence we are adding our uh, to our result because we want to traverse that path and we will be traversing it twice once while we go to the path and then once while we come back from the path right so that's the reason and and also one uh, the value here will be close to now true because we need to traverse that path path from one because uh, 
because it has children right so we have to traverse go through one to reach four and five so that is why we need to return a true there and then finally we return our result now let's try to run our code okay something went wrong here uh, i haven't made my dfs call okay yeah and i also need to pass my note here has apple is not a function oh okay it's an array cool let's submit it great so the time complexity of this function would be um big o of n here because we are performing a dfs function and we are only traversing through one of the child only once so it's o of n and um the space complexity is also o of n because we are creating a children array and we are storing our value here so yeah 